So you want to start your own infinity bottle. It's like a whiskey lover's version of a masterpiece that is always in progress. Imagine blending different whiskeys together, creating your very own unique concoction that evolves with every pour. Sounds pretty cool, right? Let's get started. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Straight Up, the show where we explore the world of whiskey one dram at a time. I'm your host, Derek Sanford, and today we're diving into the intriguing world of infinity bottles. This bottle here is actually mine, and the whole reason that I decided to bring this show to you is because mine is almost gone. So we're going to go through six different pieces of advice that I have on creating and maintaining your very own infinity bottles because I started thinking of it myself and decided to jot some notes down. Now remember, this is just my advice. So please, experiment on your own. You're gonna have a lot of fun with this. You might make the best damn thing you've ever had. You also might have a drain pour on your hands. So either way, it's gonna be a pretty cool experience. All right, let's dive right in. Point number one, the right bottle matters. When choosing a bottle for your Infinity Blend, opt for one that seals tightly to preserve those flavors. You definitely don't wanna use a bottle with like a bad cork or like a saturated cork. Um, think more like an airtight decanter or an old bottle with like a great cork, kind of like this one, right? It actually takes a lot of work to get it off. Um, that way your blend doesn't get affected by oxidation too much. Now on to point number two, adding whiskey. Here's where the fun begins. You can add basically any whiskey you like, whether it's a single malt bourbon or even a rare find, just pour a little bit of each and watch as your blend takes shape. Don't worry about sticking to a strict recipe. This is all about experimentation and personal preference. Point number three answers the question, should you mix it up or keep it separate? Should you have separate infinity bottles for every different type of whiskey or just mix everything together? Honestly, it's up to you. Some folks might want to keep their blends separate to maintain distinct flavors while other prefer the surprise of a mixed bag. I've made infinity bottles that stuck to one type of whiskey, like a rye or a bourbon, um, or like Irish whiskeys, those can be great. Sometimes it's more fun, like this one that it was, uh, where you just mix it all up. You can get some funky flavors that uh, you can get when like mixing single malts with finished bourbons and ryes. It just keeps things interesting, you know? I trust you'll find out what you like based off of trial and error. Point number four is gonna answer how much to pour each time you add more whiskey. Well, I like to pour the last bit of each bottle into my Infinity Blend. This way it's always evolving. This could be an ounce or four or eight. It depends on what I feel like doing in the moment and if I just feel like killing a bottle for some reason. Since there's no predetermined recipe, you got freedom here to do whatever you want. Don't put yourself in a box. You might want to take the neck pour of every bottle you open and add it into your blend. You also could make your own custom blends based off of your taste, basically. You might want to take Buffalo Trace and mix it with a little bit of Eagle Rare and throw a couple weird things in there to give it like a finished taste that maybe is more up your alley. I don't know. Just, you know, have fun with it. That's kind of the whole point anyways, isn't it? Point number five, aging and blending. How long should you let your blend marry before indulging? Well... That's a tough one. Some say instantly it's good. Some say let it sit for a few weeks to mingle. Others swear by just letting the things go for months and not touching them. My advice, taste as you go. Give it a swirl every now and then and see how the flavors are developing over time. Trust me, it's worth the wait. Also, you wanna keep a close eye on oxidation. If you let something sit for months, it might turn on you and get a little weird. If the blend starts losing flavor or if it gets a little too funky, it might be time to move on. Which brings me to point six, starting over. Eventually your affinity bottle uh, will run low, kind of like mine, or it could get weird or gross. You'll face a dilemma. Should you refill it or should you start fresh? Well, that's personal choice again. If you created something truly special, by all means, continue the journey and keep adding to it. But if you're itching to try something new, don't be afraid to pour out the remnants and start something new. There you have it, folks, your crash course on creating and maintaining infinity bottles. Remember, there are no rules in the world of whiskey, just good friends and good drams. Thank you for watching this episode of Whiskey Straight Up. And remember, please always drink responsibly. Cheers.